Camp Scott is a bit of a hidden gem on Fort Wayne's southeast side. I visited there during an open house today, along with several others who braved the heat. Those people each had a story for why they were there. Camp Scott is our constructed wetlands that we use for water quality improvement and also to help reduce the likelihood of flooding and basement backups. The people with city utilities are proud to talk about Camp Scott, an old dumping ground that now serves as a tool for the department. I think a lot of times people think of utilities just as um, I get my water bill every month and I, I have to write a check. Yep. But this is an opportunity for us to really interact with the community, share some information about all of the good things that we do, and give them a real stake in what we do. Among those looking for a stake, a high school student who runs an environmentalism program at Snyder. We are at this preserve uh, trying to learn about new ways that we can help out the community. He took special note of the plant life. They have some native uh, plants here that are being threatened by the invasive species, so mm. maybe in the future we can go in and clean out all these uh, invasive species to make it a better habitat. Another reason people visited today, the history of the land. The habitat was once part of a World War II prisoner of war camp. My father, Tom Newton, was here in the Army at Camp Scott. Carolyn DeWeese says her dad met her mom in Fort Wayne while he served as a guard at the camp. She told me she was excited to be back at the spot and connecting with people who know that history. Naming it Camp Scott is a nice memory for me. It's sentimental. And so I appreciate that, and I appreciate being here today. <laughs> Camp Scott is only open to the public a handful of times through the year. If you are interested in visiting, though, you can contact City Utilities for a private tour. Chris Darby, News Channel 15.